दिस इज अ स्टोरी ऑफ टू मर्चेंट्स आफ्टर लिसनिंग टू दिस स्टोरी यू विल नेवर ट्राई टू चीट ऑन एनी वन इन द सिटी ऑफ डेली लिवड टू मर्चेंट्स दे हैड फ्लोरिशिंग बिजनेस ऑफ घी देयर शॉप्स वर क्वाइट क्लोज टू ईच अदर वन डे वन ऑफ द मर्चेंट्स वॉन्टेड टू बोरो फाइव हंड्रेड गोल्ड कॉइन्स ही टुक द मनी फ्रॉम द अदर मर्चेंट बट आफ्टर वर्ड्स ही रिफ्यूज टू पे बैक द अमाउंट द सेकेंड मर्चेंट वेंट टू द एम्प्रर एंड डिमांडेड जस्टिस द एम्प्रर हैंडेड ओवर दिस रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू बीरबल बीरबल आस्क ईच ऑफ दैम टू गिव हिज स्टेटमेंट द प्लेटिव सैड दिस मर्चेंट हैड बोरोड फाइव हंड्रेड गोल्ड कॉइन्स फ्रॉम मी एंड नाउ ही इज रिफ्यूजिंग टू पे बैक द मर्चेंट हु आर द अक्यूज सैड नो सर दिस इज फॉल्स वी बोथ कैरी आवर बिजनेस नियर वन अनदर सो ही इज जेलस ऑफ मी एंड हैज पुट अ फॉल्स ब्लेम अपॉन मी बीरबल वॉज कन्फ्यूज ऑन हियरिंग दिस ही आस them to come after 10 days for the decision after some days birbal ordered 10 containers filled with 10 seers of ghee each only in two of the containers he placed a gold coin afterwards he called all the ghee merchants of the city the two merchants also came he gave each of them a 10 seer tin of ghee and said each of these tins contains 10 seers of ghee take it home and after a careful examination decide its price he purposefully gave the containers with the coins to the plaintiff and the accused each of the merchants took his tin home and putting the ghee to different tests decided its market price the two merchants found a gold coin in their respective tins the merchant who had appealed to the court was honest he at once came to birbal and returned back the gold coin but the other merchant was cunning he took out the gold coin and gave it to his son on the fixed day all the merchants came with their tins of ghee Birbal carefully examined the accused merchant's tin. He found that the amount of ghee had decreased. When he asked about it, the merchant said, "Maharaj, it must have been reduced while heating. Is it so? Then I will also check by taking another ghee tin." Birbal replied, saying so, he went inside and asked his servant, "Look, go at once to the house of the accused and ask his son to come to the court with the gold coin that his father had found in the tin of ghee soon the merchant's son entered the court with the gold coin at once birbal asked him did you bring all the five gold coins that were in the ghee tin there was only one gold coin in the tin and not five See this is the only coin the son replied with astonishment listening to the son's statement birbal turned towards the merchant and said you cheated me for a single coin then for 500 coins how can you be honest enough now what do you have to say the merchant had no other alternative besides accepting his guilt He knelt down before Birbal, begged to be forgiven, and returned back the coins to the plaintiff. Once a cheater, always a repeater. One lie has the power to tarnish a thousand truths. Cheating is the most disrespectful thing one human being can do to another. Don't cheat if you don't want to be cheated. This is the golden rule for all great connections. Even a tiny bit of deceit is dishonorable when it is used for selfish or cowardly reasons. Cheating only thrills those who cannot see the beauty in faithfulness. Tricks and treachery are the practice of fools. 
that don't have brains enough to be honest a real man will be honest no matter how painful the truth is a coward hides behind lies and deceit if you succeed in cheating someone don't think that the person is a fool realize that the person trusted you much more than you deserved anything is better than lies and deceit a lie that is half truth is the darkest of all lies deception may give us what we want for the present but it will always take it away in the end trust once lost could not be easily found not in a year perhaps not even a lifetime